Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at some of the updates and new features found in Animoog Z. One of the most major changes you'll notice is the orbit path now has a Z-axis allowing our orbs to exist in a 3D space. You can use two fingers to adjust your view of the space, or double tap with two fingers to get a top view, as well as use the view buttons to look from the front or the left side and adjust accordingly. On the scale page, which now exists above the keyboard, you'll notice that we've increased the polyphony from four voices all the way to 16 voices. On the timbre page, this should look familiar to users of the original Animoog, but a major new feature is you can record and add your own timbres to patches. On the envelope and LFO page, you'll notice we've added two additional LFOs, and now there's dedicated more buttons on all the modulation sources allowing you to adjust deeper features. On this ADSR, you'll notice that we now have control over the curve of each stage of our envelope. And looking at the LFO pages, you now have control to introduce delay, adjust the phase, or control the number of repeats that an LFO will have. On the modulation page, we've increased the number of mod slots from four all the way to 10, allowing for much more intricate and interesting modulation in your patches. And on the effects page, you'll notice that all the effects are now contained on a dedicated page, and this includes the arpeggiator, filter, thick effect, delay, and looper. You can also see on the thick effect that if we look at the detune knob, that we have nice visual feedback for the modulation occurring so we can get a sense of how our modulation affects the parameters. As you can see, Animoog Z offers lots of new features, allowing for a unique and immersive experience when exploring sound design and synthesis.